morning guys happy Tuesday sorry for no vlog yesterday I uh, was pretty busy at work and then I had kind of a rough night at the gym just because my knee was bothering me again and it like sent me into a panic of re-tearing my knee I'm sure that's not the case but can't help but think the worst when you've already been there <clears throat> so I modified the moves as necessary and <clears throat> Sorry, I keep getting like frogs in my throat in the morning times. But uh, I came home and I took an Epsom salt bath. I stretched. I did, I've been doing heat um, and I bring my ice pack to work. I actually Instagrammed the outfit I'm wearing yesterday but didn't end up wearing it because it was so cold and rainy that I just ended up wearing a sweatshirt and leggings, a uh, sweatshirt and yoga pants yesterday because it was just Monday. And today we're supposed to be getting a lot of snow apparently, like starting at 10 a.m. So that should be interesting. But I am going to be scaling back my workouts uh, this week a little bit and focusing more on stretching and yoga and foam rolling <clears throat> because those are the things that help me when, especially when I'm having issues with my knee and I can't, I, I just can't have a tear. <laughs> it's not allowed. Just, just not. I'm sure it's fine. Um, the cold and the stiffness it doesn't help. So yes, I love this new cardigan I got at Loft. And I will be going back probably to get the other two colors because I have, um, like I got savings cards when I went shopping on Black Friday. And I'm sure they'll go on sale because they have a very high turnover rate there. So I'm going to finish getting ready and I'll show you guys what I'm bringing for lunch because I'm pretty excited about it. much more awake when I actually like get myself ready in the morning. I just, I don't know. Something about doing your hair and just a little bit of makeup, mascara and eyeliner, no big deal. That makes you just feel good. But this is what I'm bringing today. Quinoa teriyaki mushroom rolls from Trader Joe's. And a serving size is three pieces. So there's two and a half servings in here. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Um, because it's my lunch. And I need something to hold me no matter what my workout is later. And I'm really trying to get back on the whole shakes for dinner thing. I was going to do it last night and didn't, I blew it. So today, I really, like, it's just, whoops. I feel so much better when I do that because I feel lighter and, because it's a, it's a light dinner versus like something super heavy. Um, last night I had tortilla chips with cheese, guacamole, and salsa, AKA nachos, not the healthiest choice, but it wasn't also the worst thing because guacamole and salsa is not bad. And the tortilla chips were really good. They're Tostitos, new yellow corn. I would I wanted to get the blue ones, but Eddie wouldn't eat them. So, I don't know. Anyways, here's a dog. Hey. Say hi. Say hi, Moo Moo. You know you're a loser gleek when you pre-order the Leah Michelle album um, just so you can get the first single because as soon as you pre-order it, you get the first single off of it free. And I just remembered that I wanted to DVR Ellen today because she's going to be performing it. I just love, I mean, I've loved Leah Michelle since I was, I saw her on Broadway um, in Spring Awakening. I think I've told you guys about that before, but yeah, I'm just a fan of hers in general. Meanwhile, I just want to say all these people have um, snow days today and it's not even freaking snowing for them yet. It's supposed to start snowing for us and all these people are already off. Like what the heck? It's not even cool. So yeah, I'm uh, DVRing Ellen so I can watch that probably later or tomorrow if I'm not home because of, uh, I just wanna make sure it's this one. I don't know, Phoenix performs. Maybe she's tomorrow. I do love Ellen though anyway, so maybe I'll just watch anyway. And I just wanna tell you guys, um, if you like Kelly Clarkson's new Christmas single, Underneath the Tree it's called, it's available free on iTunes. If you go all the way to the bottom in the iTunes section, you can download it for free. So I don't know, I like it. I think it's a fun Christmas song, so you might like it too. It's 10 after 9 and I just opened the door. It's a winter freaking wonderland out there. I hope we can go home early because this is not good. My little car sucks in the snow. <sighs> Today was an awesome day at work. You guys, I made some connections with people I never thought I would. Uh, YouTube wise and I'm really excited about it. I'm not going to say yet just because I don't want to jinx anything but some cool cool stuff is happening on the horizon at delta labs um i'm home now obviously and this is his new max's new favorite toy yeah show them what you do 
That's a Santa hat to wear. It's a doggy Santa hat, but we are obsessed with it. Don't worry, mommy's nice sweater. Yeah. I don't know why. And it used to, this morning when I left, it talked. And now it doesn't do that anymore. So. <gasps> it does. It works. And this is his favorite spot. Hanging under the Christmas tree. You love it. You're burrowing under there. Huh? <laughs> You're burrowing. Oh, kids are so I love you too, baby. Oh, Christmas presents. Can't show anything else. Whoops. I love you too, Chanters. Mm, he loves his mama. So, yeah, I'm home. Um, I'm either doing jump and drill if she needs me or uh, yoga at 6. So, we shall see. But I got a really exciting package too. I want to show you guys. One of the newest long sleeve Just Keep Sweating shirts came in and I got myself a men's extra large. Yes, I don't expect a man to wear pink scripted shirts, but I like really big blue shirts. I haven't tried it on yet, so I don't know, it just came. And I ordered this last Friday and it already came to me. So that's like really, the shipping never used to be that fast, but I guess they changed however they do things and it came and I'm so excited. I'm probably going to be living in it. So don't judge me too harshly. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. It comes down. It covers your booty. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it cause I don't have a mirror out here, but I was very, very happy with it. Um, extra large men. I mean, I'm not a little girl, so. That's why I want. I wanted it to be big and loose on me, which is why I got this size, but a men's small would fit me in these. So yeah, my spread shirt shop is always linked down below for anybody who's interested. Um, gotta rock that Just Keep Sweating gear, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I was looking online earlier today for like a really good butternut squash um, black bean crock pot recipe and didn't find anything that I really loved. So I figured I would get some ideas and kind of sort of make my own soup recipe idea. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a cannellini bean, black bean, butternut squash, kale soup. Uh, I'm, gonna to to I'm gonna toss some onions in there, some diced tomatoes. Like I'm just kind of adding stuff that I have. So a can of corn, a can of black beans, a can of cannellini beans, a can of diced tomatoes. If I had another can of black beans, I would add that, but I don't. Um, and I'm gonna add chicken broth. Actually, I think I have broth in here already. And then I'm gonna also add kale. I've got some chicken. Just kidding, I don't. I have tons of garlic, and I'm gonna add garlic in there because I just need to get it out of the fridge. Finish up some slow sodium chicken broth. Oh. I'm gonna finish up some low sodium chicken broth. Kind of just um, one of those toss everything in the fridge type dealios uh, just to make it. Get it done, get it out of the fridge, not so, so I don't like. The butternut squash is gonna go bad if I don't make something with it and this is the best thing that I can think of. So I'll show you guys what happens when I put it all together. I'm gonna be tossing in full cloves of garlic so I'm just gonna go ahead and add um, some oil to this pan. Well, I already added the oil to the pan, but I just threw it in there just to like cook it for a few minutes to get it soft. Um, and of course I put the wrong burner on. I swear, I'm never gonna learn these stupid burners. Uh, and then I'm also gonna add the butternut squash to that pan just to cook it up a little bit before I throw all the ingredients into the crock pot. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm winging it. This is just something I came up with on the fly, but I know it'll turn out really good because it's all about the ingredients, the flavoring, and that's it, and the love. Black beans, cannellini beans, can of tomatoes, can of corn, and about three cups of low sodium chicken broth is in my crock pot. I'm just finishing up this butternut squash uh, garlic mixture, and uh, I'm gonna turn this heat off in a few minutes, and I'm gonna add this into the crock pot and a bunch of the kale. I'm probably gonna add half this bag and just turn it on low in the crock pot for eight hours. All the vegetable friends and beans are in the pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it and set it on low. And that's all you hit is one little button on mine. I love my crock pot, by the way. It's a, uh, the brand is Bella. I don't know how I came across it. I think I found it when we were just like registering at Macy's and uh, 
So far, we absolutely love it. So if you're in the market for a new crock pot, Bella. Want to know one of my least favorite things about laundry? The overabundance of these. I feel like dryer sheets. Sorry. I feel like for whatever reason, and I don't know if it's just in our house or if this happens to everybody, for whatever reason, dryer sheets never make it out of the laundry basket and into the garbage. They just pile up at the bottom of the hamper or the garbage, uh, the, the garbage, the laundry basket, whatever it is, and they just never make it to their final resting place, which is the garbage. So I just finished folding all the laundry that I did on Sunday. Yes, it takes me that long because I hate doing laundry. And the, by the time I finished like folding everything and putting it away, it's time to do like eight more loads. I am not sure what we'll do when we have children because I'm the worst when it comes to laundry and I'll be the first to admit it. Eddie will tell you it, you know, a hundred times, but it's true. I hate laundry, I hate it. Which chore do you hate the most so I don't feel so bad about how delinquent I am about folding laundry? I came in and could smell the cook, the cook, the crock pot cooking away already. So I am pleasantly excited about what's going to ensue when I have some tomorrow morning. Um, now I'm just feeding the boys really quick. And then I'm gonna feed myself. I'm gonna finish up the uh, guacamole because we have it. So I'm just gonna make nachos instead of having a shake, like I said, for the second night in a row. YOLO. I've got my spoonful of cookie butter and cocoa spread, which was probably the worst purchase I could have made. But it's so good. And I'm getting ready for the biggest loser. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Sorry, it was another short vlog. Um, crazy week at work. I'm sure you guys get it. I'm super tired, but holiday season is always a crazy one. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.